How's it going everybody? Benoit here and welcome to Tactical Fellowship. Go ahead, hit the like button if you assume your iron sights are just dialed in. And why not subscribe if just like me, you actually shot with them once and was like... Today I'm looking at my rear sight made by Griffin Armament. Their M2 rear sight is made out of ordnance grade steel and weighs in at 2.5 ounces. This is a manual non-locking rear sight, but a spring helps them up and down and you can mount them in either the 12 o'clock or 45 degree offset with their alternate angle plate. Here's how I installed it. The base slides into the sight, the sight slides onto the rail, put a dab of blue Loctite onto the set screw, make sure the set screw is pushed forward against the Picatinny rail because recoil forces sights and optics forward and then torque it down with 18 inch pounds. Here's what I like about it. This thing is little and unobtrusive, unlike my old gg and sight. The single aperture is simply fine. The double donut one would always just make me hangry anyways. Speaking of the aperture, it's small and that's good for me knowing where the front post needs to be. By the way, it paired up perfectly with my ScalarWorks Peak front sight. Here's me shooting at 50 yard steel. Just a heads up though, I did need to adjust the windage dial just a touch after installing it and you can find that dial on the right. Here's what I'm not so sure about. This rear sight, because it's non-locking, has the potential to accidentally collapse. It could collapse due to gear, clumsy hands, or a puffy vest that puffs a little too puffy. Anyways, the problem here is a sight not deployed when you need it. But all in all, this is a great sight for guys like me who believe I won't be using it much anyways, but really kind of want the security of a small little something something back there should the optic go down. Well, that's all I got, and I hope this helps you guys out. As always, ride fast, shoot straight, and we will see you next time. Go ahead, throw a comment down there. What rear sights are at the back of your gun?